Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Google Drive. So, what is Google Drive? Well, Google Drive <laughs> is a fabulous feature that Google gives us, and it's basically a virtual hard drive. It's uh, one of the cloud-based services, like That's right. iCloud or um, OneDrive or uh, Dropbox. Know, Dropbox, right? Yep. Yeah. And it come you can what you can do is you can store um, any type of file up there. Uh, any type of file you want and Google also has its own apps right and you can put those files up there and also you can access all of Google's apps from your drive in one convenient place right and share them with other people and right. there's a lot of great features about it it is nice and it comes with um, 15 gigabytes free which is really big right. for the free usually it's five yeah. gigs free but Google stepped it up and it's 15 yep. gigs free and that's great yeah and then after that they have payment pl monthly payment plans just like iCloud does and all the other ones um, right. for how much space you need exactly I find with Google Drive I have never had to go past the free because it's you know small documents it's yeah not big photos or big you know things right like that. if you're gonna do something like that you gotta kind of think right. out which cloud drive do you want to use for those things Okay, so first of all, here we are on the internet, and we're using Chrome, so you access it through the internet on your um, mobile devices. There are apps, and um, they're going to be similar, sometimes a little bit more limiting, um, but you should be able to figure out from watching this video the differences. Mm -hmm. So first of all, what you do is you go to Drive, and for any Google thing, it's always the, the name of the area, and then Google.com. So in this case, it's Drive.Google.com. So here I am, and you might see many different things <laughs> when you go here, right. Well, right? first of all, you might be already signed into Google, and then it would go right to your drive. So if you're if, already signed in oh, right. Right, to Google, right. your yep. Google account, it would do that. But we're not signed in, so it brings us to this landing right. page. Right. So, yeah, you could see many different things when you come here. One, if you're signed in, it might just take you right to Google. Um, if you're not signed in... Uh, it might show you, bring you to a page that looks like this, where you see I've got these different accounts. Um, I could do add an account and you to do a new account. And if you want to know how to do that, you could watch our video right on adding a new a Google account. Right. But for now, I'm going to sign in as one of my sign-ins, and you can see I've already auto saved the password, which That's is a nice feature. Very nice feature. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And it brought us right to drive. <laughs> right, because yeah. that's where we were going. Yeah, yep. sometimes it doesn't do that. Sometimes it brings yep. you other places. Right, but, but here, we got it did lucky. We, here it did yep. what we wanted, so that's great. <laughs> yep. Um, so here's your drive, and what you see here is there's some, you know, features and navigation stuff, and then this part here is your drive. And right now you can see I've got it listed, like, as a, as a list. If you click here, you can go to grid view. Right. Which I, if I had really one document. Yeah, let's look at that. Let's look at uploading yeah. a document. Yeah. <laughs> right. So first of all, here we're at the drive. So I'm going to start off over here with new, the big red button, which right. they make it very easy to see how do I do something new. Okay? Right. So I'm going to click on this. First, I'm just going to quickly show you what it is, and then we're going to go ahead and do some stuff. Um, you could do a new folder. Um, you could upload a file or a folder. Mm -hmm. You could, and then it, it gets into the apps. Right. So these are all the sheets, slide docs, there, and there's even more of them. And even more. Right. <laughs> so for right now, we're going to do a folder upload. Let's do a folder. Should we do that? Sure. I'm going to click on yeah, that. Yeah, let's upload that folder we have on the desktop. <clears throat> and I'm going to go down. So what, I'm do what am I doing here? I am putting, um, you know, things on my Google Drive. Right, so you're copying things okay, that are... Okay, this got cut off on the uh, video. So uh, I'm here, gonna... I think you can... Can you move the window over? Yeah. Move the whole window over. There oh, we go. Right. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, sorry. Now you can see it. So I've went out, navigated out on my computer, and found the folder I want to upload, and I'm going to click Upload. Right, so these are documents that right. you had stored locally on your computer, mm -hmm. and you want to get up into the yep. drive, the virtual hard drive right. stored somewhere on Google's computer, yep. somewhere in right. the world. <laughs> safely, very safely. So you might be doing this just to archive your things, or you might be doing this because there's some things that you're going to share with other people Right. that we'll be showing you in our individual Google Apps um, videos, how you can share like a document or a slide, a right. slide presentation right. or whatever. Right. 
And it's also good to notice um, that there are a couple of different ways to work with, um, with Google Drive. Right now, we're signed in and we're using it simply on the cloud. The information is only being stored mm -hmm. up on the cloud. Um, we're going to show you later where you can download an app to your computer right. or your, and then you can store things also locally on your computer um, in mm -hmm. case you want to use something offline. Right. But right now we're just yep. in drive mode. Okay. So it's almost done updating. As it's there. updating, I can go through the, well, I don't want to do that because I need files. Yeah. Right? It's almost done. Okay. Yep. Almost done. Just a few you more seconds. You can see 14.2 out of 14.8 megabytes. And she's done. She's done. So, upload complete. It says right. video, that's the name of the folder, has been uploaded to my drive. And you can see it right up there. Yep. Now, I like this view. That's what I was showing you the first time. I like, I prefer a list view. I don't list know why. View. Well, you can do a grid view. Right. You can do a grid view right. or a list view. So, I'm going to do the list. So, here's the folder that we uploaded. If you double click on it, it'll open. And these are all our files. And as you can see here, I've uploaded quite a number of Different types, different types of types files. Of files right. Here's an Excel, here's a JPEG, here's a Word, a ping is another graphic file, and here's a PDF. Right. So, so you, can, you can put anything up there. Any kind of file. You could put, right. Yeah. And as we'll show you in the, the individual Google Apps videos, um, you can either leave them and just view them as their original document format, or you can convert them to an appropriate Google app if, if you want to do one. more right. editing. Right, right. So and do you want yeah. to show the different over here show like the ways you can sort these documents too, just since we're looking sure. at how to view them. So we've looked at the grid sure. versus yeah. list view. Grid and list view. And then here's A to Z. So you well here you could do it by name or last modified. This will show you last modified. This is going to show you alphabetically. Yep. Yep. And you know, last modified by me or last opened by me, right? Because of the big one of the big features of Google Drive is being able to share documents with people. And I could share a Google Doc with you, yeah. And we could both have have it open at the same time and both be typing in it, and it's going to simultaneously Isn't that update. Great? Yeah. Isn't that great? So I think this is why they're showing you last modified by me or by someone else, right? right. I bet right. if there was we had a shared one, it would show that. Yeah, that's great. And then here we have. Um, well, this isn't really sorting. We'll come back yeah. to this. All right. So over here, obviously, here's your drive. I'm going to show you everything in your drive. I had just been clicked in the folder. Right. Then down here, this is another way of sorting your files. Um, shared with me. Um, files and folders others have shared with you. Okay. So if I had a bunch of files that were shared with me, you they would just see those just separately. See those. Right. Like it might be uh, only work people that share with you, and you might want to just view those separately than your regular files. Sure. Now this is Google Photos, which it says right here, stay tuned, your photos are coming soon. Right. <laughs> so. so we will we'll move on. And this is recent, so you can see things that you've worked on today, recently. Right. Or uploaded or opened, right. Yep. And then starred is another, it's kind of a way to favorite. Things. Sure. So you can star files and that those would show up here. Okay. And then of course you can see what you have in your trash. All right. And then down here, they make it really convenient for you to upload your storage. Sure, right. <laughs> so you can start paying them some money every month, but we right. don't need to. And nope. it shows you 15 megabytes of 15 gigabytes. Right. And then look, it's showing you where most of that's being used. Right. In Gmail, Photos, oh, or yeah. Drive. Okay. Yep. So oh, once they get their photos going, that's right. where your, all your space is going to get exactly. eaten up, right? <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Okay. So I'm just going to go back to my Drive now. And um, some other things that we wanted to show you was, oh, you know what we forgot to point out? When we did a file upload, you can, and this would work for a file or a folder, you can either do it the way I did it through the menu, or you can just go to your desktop and click and drag and pull it up. That's nice. I yeah. like that feature. I do too. Yeah, right. It's kind of hard the way we're filming it to show you that right. feature. But so you can just drag things yeah. over and they'll go up the same way. It's a nice feature. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to go back up here. And if I go to details, this is a nice feature. This shows me my recent activity. Okay. All you right. You can see here I created an item. Here right. I uploaded Six those items. items. Yep. And this is nice um, if you have a drive that you share with a lot of people. Like I do a lot of volunteer work and we have a drive just for this volunteer organization. 
And you can see who's been working on stuff. That's nice. And who's <laughs> keep, track of, <laughs> keep track of their free work. Right, right. Now. right. <laughs> so no. If you had a real company. Paid, yeah, paid. but it is nice. No. No, I wonder if uh, Karen right. updated that spreadsheet. Yeah, you can look in here yep. and say, oh, look, yep. she worked on it last night. Or, you know, I yep. better call her up. So that's a nice feature. Then over here is our settings. And we're going to go into settings. And you can see here under general, it shows you um, how much storage you have. You can upgrade it. You know, all these different features, change the language. Um, and what's converting uploads? Well, that will uh, just automatically convert things to Google Docs editor format. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Right. So if you have, if you use Word and you wanted to create, to convert something mm -hmm. to Docs so you can share it with yes. other people. Yep. Yep. Great. Wonderful. Yeah, I think it does it, the editor format, so it will show it to you but it's not really going to make it a Google Doc unless you go through the steps. Okay, okay. Yep. Well, we'll so do you, that in our Google Docs video. Right. All right, and then this is offline. This is um, for syncing Google Docs sheets, slides, and drawings um, files to this computer so you can edit offline. Right, what I had talked about right. earlier. So you can download that yeah. to your computer. And if I go to learn more, it's going to take you to the step through the steps to downloading Google Drive On to your, your computer. your different devices, or your yep. iPhone, or your Android. Yeah. Yep. So it's the same exact files, it's just keeping a copy on your computer so as you, well as their servers. Right, so you can use it when you don't have access to the internet. Right. Maybe so you're that flying, might be a nice feature. And as soon as you get back on Wi-Fi, it'll update. It'll sync them. Yep. Sync them up. So that's good. It's very nice. Right? So there wasn't anything else under there, right? No, there, there's download drive there's again. There's <laughs> download drive, <laughs> keyboard some shortcuts, shortcuts. And some help. And their help. Right. Right. And then if we look up here, this is a really nice, I love this app, the Google app icon. If I click on that, this is an easy way to go to all your different Google things. Oh, that is nice. And you see that um, in in when you're in YouTube, you can you see that. Yeah. And sometimes when you're in uh, just in the Google right. Finder, you'll see that. Mm -hmm. So it makes it easy. To and navigate. this is so yeah, that's nice. And then this one is Google notifications. Um, and this will show you. It's going to take forever to open, so I'm just going to close it. Yeah, but this is a this new will show account. you. Uh, yeah. You'll have a little red badge, a little red like one or two or three. If someone's commented on your YouTube page, or someone is, uh, you know, shared a post a new, in Google Plus, right, or shared a new file with right. you or something, right. yeah, anything for Drive. So those are all too. your notifications, right? And then up here, you can see this little person is showing you who your signed in is, right? And you can make it a picture. It's right. kind of fun. You can click on change. It would take you to the steps of uploading a photo, so right. you can customize it too. Right. So. Um, that's about the basics of Google Drive, don't right. you think? I think so. Yeah. And so we're going to do, uh, you know, well, maybe we've done this by the time you watch it. <laughs> yeah. But our plan is now we're going to proceed to, um, we've already done a video on Google Forms, and we're going to do a video on all the other Google apps. So you will know how to work with them right within your Google Drive. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Fit. And please subscribe to our channel.